back, and I'm glad you're back too. Well, before we get started, is everybody happy today? Me too. And today we have a very special thing to do, a very special sport. Today, we are going to see if we can work on some tennis. That's right, you heard me right, tennis. And I know what you're thinking, Adam, how am I ever going to play tennis? Don't worry, I got some secrets. So before we go, I don't know if you've noticed, but where I am is on a field. And you don't play tennis on a field. But don't worry, I'm going to be moving to where you play tennis. And does anybody know where you play tennis? That's right, you play on a court, a tennis court. Did you know there's all kinds of different courts? There's a court for basketball, which we've already talked about, and you have a court for tennis. They're both very different, but they still are referred to as a court. And the other thing is, have you noticed what's all around me? Flowers. Did you see the blooming flowers all around me? And in fact, look what I did. I picked some of these beautiful flowers to take home. Aww. Yes. And do you know what these are called when you put flowers together? That's right. It's a bouquet. A bouquet of flowers to go home. I think my whole home is going to be so happy. Yes. And do you want to know something? Flowers are a way to say, I love you. Aww. Yes. When people give friends and family flowers, it's a way of saying, I love you. So this bouquet of flowers is for you. <laughs> yes, and speaking of love, I have something to tell you. Did you know in the game of tennis, there's love? But we'll talk about that in a minute. So now that we know we're playing tennis and there's gonna be lots of love in this game, I think we should practice or start with our warmups. So everybody stand up big and tall. Here we go, remember, Turn on your listening ears. I'm going to play a quick little game of Adam Says. And when I say quick, I mean quick. Here we go. Adam Says, touch your nose. Uh -huh. Almost got you on that one. You see when I go a little faster how hard it is? Okay. Adam Says, touch your back. Uh -huh. You guys were ready for that when I could tell. Adam Says, touch your shoes. Uh -huh. Oh. I know, I'm, I know it's trickier when I go fast, but that's okay, it's fun. Adam says, touch your shoulders. <laughs> oh, I didn't trick anybody on that one. Adam says, reach to the sky. <laughs> oh, that didn't work either. Oh my goodness gracious, Scruffy. Well, it looks like everybody's coming out to play. Even Scruffy's coming out to play. Hi, Scruffy. Hi. <laughs> he said hi. He wants to play tennis too. How about this one? Adam says, touch your, do you remember this one? Your funny bone? Where's your funny bone? That's right, it's in your elbow. Your elbow has your funny bone. Hey, how about this one, ready? Adam says, let's see if you can do this one. We're gonna practice standing on one foot, hands out for balance. One, two, three, four, and five. Try that again, but remember, shh, quiet, ready? Lift up your foot. One, two, three, four, five. Nice work, everybody. Well, do you want to know something? In the game of tennis, you have to hit the ball, right? And what that means is you have to make sure that you're warmed up to spin to hit the ball. So why don't we try this? Hands out, and let's just get a little twist in us. Just a soft, gentle twist. Let your body know that it's gonna have to move like this. There we go. Uh-huh, that's right. What? What's that? Uh, my body's talking to me. He's like, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> Here we go. I'm getting this all ready to go. Excellent. Now, here's the first thing we have to talk about. In the game of tennis, you have to hit the ball, right? And what do you hit the ball with? That's right, a tennis racket. And do you want to know something? I forgot my tennis racket. Uh huh. I have an idea. What if we turn our hand into a tennis racket? Yes, like this. Look it, my hand is nice 
and flat, and and I'm gonna take my arm and I'm gonna make it straight because tennis rackets are kind of straight too, right? So what I'm gonna do is with my hand nice and straight, I'm gonna turn my hand and my arm into the tennis racket. That's right. And here's a little secret for you guys. When you're hitting the ball in tennis, do you hit the ball on the top? No, on the top. Do you hit the ball on the bottom? Nope. On the bottom. You have to hit it on the on the side. That's right. When you hit the ball, you're hitting it on the side. So in fact, when you hit the ball, it doesn't go forward. It goes sideways. Pretty good secret, isn't it? So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a ball. Ah, yes. I'm gonna use a big ball today. And what I'm gonna practice is I'm gonna go on my knees, just like this, and watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold the ball with my finger so it doesn't roll away. My hand goes beside the ball, and I'm going to hit the ball on the side. You wanna see me try one? Okay, got an idea. When I hit the ball, I'm gonna do a little sound effect just to keep my arm nice and straight. Just like the arms on a clock that go tick, 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 tick. tick. That's what I'm gonna use with my hand. Okay, here we go. Hand beside the ball, ready? Story time clock sound. What are my eyes looking at? The ball, and I hit it. Oh, 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 that was a big one. <laughs> oh, bigger than I thought. I'm gonna try that again. Find a new ball. Got it right here. Here we go, ready? Finger on top so it doesn't roll away. Hand beside the ball. Story time clock sound. What do my eyes look at? The ball, can I hit it? Whoa, that went all the way to the other side of the court. <laughs> Let's try that again, ready? Here we go. Ball out in front, finger on top. Ready? Story time clock sound. And I hit it. Whoa. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Maybe I can try this standing up. So, this time, I'm going to have to open up my feet nice and wide. My fingers still hold the ball, and I'm going to reach way over. Here we go. Story time clock sound. And I hit it. Oh, that thing is working really well. I'm going to try one more for good luck. Here we go. Ready? Finger on top, hand beside the ball. Remember, keep your arms straight, just like the arms of the clock. Ready? And I hit it. Oh, oh that's working out really well. Well, now that you guys have been practicing, and you can keep practicing, do you remember what I was saying earlier about love? That if you give somebody a bouquet of flowers, oh. it's like telling them you love them. Well, guess what? Did you know in the game of tennis, if one of the players has no points, like zero points, do you know what they call that in tennis? They call it love. Oh. Yes. It's called love. So if I'm playing with my friend and my friend has 15 points and I don't have any, it would be 15 love. Or if they had 30 points and I didn't have any, it would be 30 love. Love means zero in tennis. Got a little trick. Ask your mom. Say mom, dad, or anybody for that matter. Hey. What does love mean? And they're gonna say, love means that I hold you close to my heart. And you're gonna like, uh-uh. Love means zero in tennis. <laughs> uh, oh boy, that's funny. Well, you know what? I'm gonna head over to the tennis court and I hope you guys are coming with me. What, what? you wanna race me? Okay, ready, go! Ha <laughs> I, what, what? How'd you guys get here so fast? What? Oh man, you guys are fast. I thought for sure I was gonna beat you here. Well, now that we're over here by the court and on the court, did you notice the difference? Yes, the court is hard. It's very hard because that's what helps the ball bounce. So, 
I was thinking, when we were practicing hitting that ball, we were doing it with the ball on the ground. But now we're gonna make this a little bit trickier. Watch what I'm gonna try this time. This time, I'm gonna see if I can hit the ball after it bounces. That's right, I said it, after it bounces. But here's what I was wondering. How many times does the ball bounce before you hit it? That's right, it bounces once. In the game of tennis, when the ball comes over the net, it bounces once and you hit it back. What's that? Yes, I know, there's a net. Yes, in the game of tennis, you have to hit the ball back and forth and back and forth over the tennis net. Yes, there's a net there. Well, what's that? No, no, the tennis net isn't high. No, no, it's right about where your tummy is. So it's not that hard to get over. But I have a little secret. When you're hitting the ball with your hand, don't hold it flat. Turn it up a little bit. Yeah, so the ball can go up and over the net. Okay, so let's practice a couple here. I'm gonna take the ball and I stretch it out in front of my tummy. Now, just like we've done before when we do our drop downs, this time we're gonna hit the ball with your hand flat like a pancake. I'll show you myself. Ready? Oh, don't forget, turn it up a little bit. All right, are you ready over there? Here we go, ready? I do a drop, bounce, and I hit. Holy moly, that went far. Holy moly, that was very far. I'm gonna see if I can try that again. Ready? Here we go. I stretch it out in front. Here we go. I do a drop, a bounce, and a big hit. Oh my goodness, that went far. It went right over the net. Hey, I just remembered something. In the game of tennis, when you hit the ball and start the game, do you know what we call that? It's called a serve. Can you say that? Say the serve. Yes. Right now, I'm the serve. idea is when you're practicing is to practice in a spot where you're not going to knock anything over. I know you can't play in your house when you're doing this. I know you probably break something. Oh, that would be a disaster. But wait a minute. What's that? Yes, I know you can't play tennis with a big ball. What do you play with? You play with a, yes, this kind of ball. And do you know what kind of ball this is? That's right, it's a tennis ball. And do you want to know something? The tennis ball is very, very small. Yes, and that means it's going to be hard to hit. So, if you think you could practice with a tennis ball, well, you can practice with the tennis ball. But make sure you keep your eye on the ball. Now, speaking of the ball, I was thinking, what was that game I played that time? The one where the balls went flying in the sky. And then I had to fit popcorn. That's right. Do you remember that game of popcorn? Well, what if I played popcorn on the tennis court? Do you think that would be pretty cool? I think so. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to take all the balls and I'm going to throw them in the sky. I'm going to see just what happens when the balls land on the tennis court. Okay, here we go. Now remember, on the count of three, you have to help me, and as loud as you can, you're gonna say, popcorn. That's right, just like that. Perfect. Okay, this is the one. Okay, on the count of three, we're gonna say popcorn, and it's gonna be a disaster around here. Okay, this is the big one. Are you ready? One, what was that? Yes, I know, it's just for pretend. Here we go, ready? On the count of three, ready, one, two, Three popcorn. Oh, oh, that's a disaster. Oh my goodness. You know what, everybody? I think this is gonna 
gonna take me forever to clean up. I don't think I'll ever get this cleaned up. Oh, mamma mia, what did I do to myself? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my goodness gracious grumps. Oh my goodness gracious Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh that's more work than I could imagine it would be. Oh well, I have to say guys had fun playing tennis today and remember when you give somebody flowers what does it mean that you love them Aww. and what does zero in tennis mean it means love Aww. but not the same way <laughs> well before I go I want everybody to remember that always do that's right wash your hands you have to wash your hands it's what keeps us healthy and the other thing is, what else keeps you healthy? Yes, eating healthy foods. So, today's homework, I know I said that word again, homework, is to wash your hands and make sure you eat all your fruits and vegetables. Hooray! Sorry. So before I go, say bye, Adam. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>